In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this grunge signature. So first off, you're going to need a render. Now I already have a render ready, and um, and you're going to have to make the background transparent like that. And you can do that by using the pass tool or um, the free select tool or whatever. Now I'm just going to make a new image and the size I'll be using is 480 by 180. Now you're going to want to choose two colors. Your foreground color should be a color that matches your render. Um, as you can tell, orange matches my render. And then your background color should be black. So now on your gradient tool, um, just keep the gradient as FG to BG and the shape should be radial and just make sure that your um, foreground color is the color that matches your render then just kind of guesstimate where the middle is and then press control while you're dragging and that will allow you to um, have a constrained line a straight line and then just drag down and you should get something like this now I'm going to um, now I want to add texture to this so I'm going to you can, um, you could use grunge brushes to do this, but I'm just going to um, go to a good website for this. So a good website to find um, good free textures is texturebits.blogspot.com. And I'm just going to. going to use this one so just you can just copy and paste um, and I'm going to need to scale this image and once you have it scaled um, you can just set I'm going to set this layer mode onto grain merge then I'm going to set the opacity of it down a little and I'm also going to go to colors, desaturate, and that should just turn it black and white. Um, now you can just set it on overlay if you want. Um, that works too, but for this I'm just going to set this one on grain merge and set the opacity down a little. Um, now <clears throat> I'm going to use a second texture and do the same thing. Except with this layer, um, I'm going to change the layer mode onto overlay. And now you have a pretty good textured image. So now I'm just going to make a new layer. And this layer is where I'm going to make these uh, kind of square patterns. This is optional if you want to do this. Uh, I'm just going to get my pencil tool, and I already made um, I made a custom brush that's just it's just a square, and you can make your own brush by going to your brushes dialog, which you can find under Windows Dockable Dialogs Brushes, and then you can just press this um, <clears throat> this page icon, which creates a new brush, and then just for shape, choose a square for radius, you can turn that up a little and hardness to one and so that's how you can make your own square brush now I'm just going to kind of now you can set this layer mode onto overlay um, now you can go ahead and um, paste your render in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just put my render in here. Um, now I'm going to put this kind of glow around my render, so I'm just going to go to Filters, Light and Shadow, Drop Shadow. And these are my settings. Offset X is 0, offset Y is 0, blur radius is 15, color is white, and opacity is 80, and I uncheck allow resizing. That just gives it a nice glow. 
Um, so that's really it. And if anything was unclear, then just leave a comment and I will try my best to respond.